This month's tech tip will focus on importing an image and print quality images. We've received several calls and emails in regards to importing an image and how to know if your image is print quality, so we're hoping to answer all of those questions for you today. Once you've opened your software and you're ready to import an image, the first thing you want to do is check the quality of the image that you want to import to make sure that it is print quality. To check the image on your computer, you can start by going to the Start menu, clicking All Programs, Accessories, and Paint. This is the general location of the Paint program, but it may be in another location on your computer, so just locate the Paint program. Once you're in Paint, you're going to locate the file that you want to import. In this case, I'm going to go to File and Open, and I'm going to select the image that I'm wanting to import. If you can't see all of the image on the screen, you may want to reduce the size so you can view the entire image at one time. To do so, you're going to go to Image, Stretch or Skew, and reduce the size both horizontally and vertically by the same number to keep it proportionate. I can now view my entire image on the screen. To check whether or not this image is print quality, I'm going to go to Image and Attributes. Here I can see that the resolution of this image is 300 by 300 dots per inch. This is a print quality image. The higher your resolution, the better quality, quality your image. If this number were to say 100 by 100, your image would not be print quality and would very likely be blurry upon printing. I now know that the image I want to import is print quality, so I'm ready to import it into my software. I'm going to go back to my Occasionography software, and I'm going to click on Import or Shapes. In this case, I'm going to use Shapes. I'm going to import an image and insert a shape. Here will ask me to locate the file that I'd like to import, and there's several different file types that we have available to choose from. I'm going to take just a minute to explain what each file type is. The first file type supported is a BMP or bitmap file. This is an image file format used to store digital images in Microsoft Windows. The second file format is a JPG or JPEG. This is the most common format for sharing or transmitting images on the World Wide Web today. The third file format is a GIF file. This is a variation of a bitmap file and is best used for simpler images such as clip art or logos with solid areas of color. The fourth file type supported is a WMF, which is used to store Windows media files. And the final file type is EMF which is a Microsoft Windows format generally used to store line art illustrations or drawings. The two most common file types are JPEG and bitmap. In this case, I'm going to be importing a JPEG file. I will click open, which will open my select an image screen. In this case, I'm going to select an ellipse and I will simply position the ellipse around the image making sure I have everything within the boundaries so nothing is cut off. Once I'm ready to import, I'll click Crop and Finish. This will bring my image into my wrapper where I can resize it and position it and I'm ready to print. I hope this has helped answer all your questions about importing an image and print quality images. Thanks for listening.